What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Emporium's NDA Explains spoiler fill review of of course Sensor. Uh, now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button as well as commenting below any video to watch, including this one. So this movie is quite interesting and in what I believe it's trying to do, which is tell a story about a woman who literally becomes unhinged because of one video. She is so troubled, so impassioned about losing her sister at a young age that she can't, as we see in the movie, if we, she can't move past the point where the parents just have to give her a death certificate to kind of show that she's dead. And because of her psychosis, because of her psyche, because she watches these video nasties, which are of course those horror films in the 80s in UK London that caused a lot of grief amongst the censors and stuff like that, she basically finds a video that feels because of the actress that it is her sister. So she starts to kind of delve into what these video nasties are. We find out that this producer is basically a, a very like a disgraceful human being. He basically is uh, in his essence, a very low grade avant-garde. He tries to be an avant-garde like uh, Lloyd Kaufman in a lot of ways, but Lloyd Kaufman is a much more respected auteur, more respected director. He has, he makes some crazy schlocky films, but these films are like low grade like uncomfortable films to watch and we always keep going back to this uh cabin or this uh thing with this like person that almost represents like an abusive father we see like people with young these two young women are constantly killing each other and they just keep repeating the same story and what i think is going on in this film is i think her psyche enid's psyche is slowly starting to unravel she's slowly starting to like go into her own little world that she imagines that she's trying to go save her sister she's trying to find out where she's at she's constantly harassing the woman who's keeping track of the books that have all the movies they watch She's constantly harassing the video store clerks. She's just her her people that she works with are constantly kind of wondering about her. And it's basically a woman who, similar to Nicolas Cage and Mandy, slowly loses the grip on grips on reality in a very David Lynchian uh, Cosmatos way. Where you know when we get to the final conclusion of this movie, where she goes to the set, she ends up killing like the main weird dude because she thinks he has like a, a mouth in his chest and she hacks him. She also kills the producer she ends up killing the director um she ends up i think taking hostage the young woman she thinks is her sister she starts seeing like this happy-go-lucky world where the parents are finally reintroduced with the uh, her their daughter who died she you know is happy and smiling even though she has blood all over her she basically at that point has just lost her grasp on reality and we see it through very quick imagery where for instance she's in a car and she's driving and it's all smiley british is no longer has like uh, crime and violence and we see a quick shot of the girl that's supposedly her sister who is screaming so think of like texas chainsaw massacre and then we go to the house with the parents and slowly uh there's a quick flash of the young girl screaming and the parents who are like uh very uh worried and they're kind of confused about what's going on who knows what's going on with enid's character does she is she gonna kill them all i mean who knows what is going on in her mind for instance you know when we see her near the end of the movie when she's like laying on the boulder or whatever it is she is sitting there smiling as the lights coming like down like you know the heavens or whatever and you know the young woman comes towards her which i think the young woman was like a f like worried about her and stuff like that or she, you know the kidnapped her is really kind of conflicting on what exactly is she's doing and uh yeah i think that's my my honest opinion about what's going on whether it's real about what's going on in her head throughout the entire movie whether you know she gets to a point where she just so so starts losing it. it it's up in the air it's not a hundred percent i want to say it's this way or this way but when it comes to the ideas and conclusions of what i can gather it's about a woman trying to grieve the loss of her sister many years prior her not being able to handle the fact that she thinks she sees her her sister on screen and how that affects your psyche and reality and how she slowly starts to unravel as the movie moves along and you can see it like with the the people that are being tossed at her from margaret thatcher who is really against censorship or something I, I don't know exactly how it worked in the 80s with the you know margaret thatcher and stuff like that but we see like crowds of people who 
are in a really weird state of hallucination in a lot of ways. They're very dreamlike in the way, the way they're presented. The way that she's getting phone calls from certain people. The whole entire movie is shot with a very uh, strange filter, a very strange, like almost dreamlike filter in a lot of ways. So in essence, she could have lost her sense on reality a long time ago. And then we get to the point where she's in the restaurant. She has the, birth, the death certificate. It almost feels like she is just not entirely there. How these parents are trying to keep her from like truly going off the deep end it's not entirely 100 percent sure but i think the whole movie is a lot like that where the parents are trying to help her but as she moves along the movie it gets worse and worse and worse and to the point where it leads into a, a very interesting conclusion that's where the concluding point to where what do you truly think is going on how do you think this is truly uh, representing itself but i'm going with the more idealistic approach where i think she's just lost her grasp on reality like i've said a billion times already uh but with that said you know you could completely think something different it's all entirely up to what your opinion and perspective is but overall i think the movie really once again deals with tragedy and grief and it deals with the absurd nature of video nasties and stuff like that and how one woman takes it too far loses her grasp and she does some really disgusting and nasty things in a lot of respects whether that's happening it all could be just its own video nasty and it's long run this could be a film of a film you know that type of thing which would be kind of a cool concept but with that said that is my take on this film in a spoilerish sense and a ending explains that type of scenario like i said i think it's a whole reality aspect of mine and stuff like that uh but i would like to know in the comments below what did you guys think of this movie do you agree with me what is your overarching opinion of what you think is going on in the movie you know do you think it's a reality base is it like a movie upon a movie type of scenario uh, i'd be interested to know like i said this movie definitely leaves some opening for interpretations like come true and all that good stuff but uh yeah overall like i said i liked it i enjoyed it i like you know the idea of just making me think and kind of be thought provoking while being an interesting horror film so much as something like mandy so uh with that said like i said let me know in the comments below what you think but otherwise if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next if you like the video awesome hit that like button and as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out